everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Ronnie today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to be financially independent it is very great to be financially independent for you to have money whenever you want it for you not to go into debt for you not to be begging for money I'm gonna teach you some tips for you to follow so as to be financially independent I am not talking about being rich <laughs> I'm not talking about that I just want to talk to you about how to manage your resources so that you have enough for you to spend without looking for help whenever you get your salary make sure you pay yourself have a savings account make a direct debit so that 10% of your salary or your income goes into your savings account so you're having like two thousand pounds in a month ensure that 200 pounds goes into your savings account and don't go back there to go and be withdrawing every day leave it on for two years three years let it be there so that you'll be able to use it for tangible things we will talk about it as i speak on the second thing for you to do is to have a budget for example if you have a salary of two thousand pounds you have already kept 200 pounds which is 10 percent in your savings account so you're left with the 1000 1800 now you need to budget because all your spending for the month must be within the 1800 so at any point in time learn to to spend less than your income so learn how to manage yourself within the 1800 that you are left with possibly you can withdraw some money and put them in envelopes maybe you withdraw money for two weeks you've already done the budget you've done the calculation then you put some money in the envelope this is how much I'm gonna spend this month and you keep it in a situation where that is not possible just know within yourself that you're not going beyond this every week so within that month you don't spend more than your income the third thing to do is for you to eliminate debts okay you may have taken loans from banks you may have taken loans in form of credit card or you've taken loans from friends try and pay them back within what you are left with after paying yourself put some certain amount put it down to pay your debt because if you don't pay your debt the interest will be dipping into your income number four is for you to invest your money how do you invest your money okay now you, you know you have been saving you have been saving you have been paying yourself 10 percent and that pen 10 percent has accumulated so you take uh, maybe after about two three years take those money go and invest there are lots of investment company where you put your money and they pay you certain percent every month it might be two percent it might be three percent every month you have in that because that's an additional income for you another thing you can do while you are investing is for you to invest in yourself try and add education to education you can study you can study more for you to be able to have better jobs um, to earn better and apart from that you can invest in business you can start off another business the fifth thing is for you to increase the streams of your income only one source of income is never okay you need at least three sources of income try and get additional thing to do to for you to have at least three streams of income and that will make you to be comfortable you must at any point in time have three streams of income it is very important to be financially independent i know a lady who is a lawyer and she did nothing you know in england here monday to friday she works as a lawyer friday night she goes to work and she will work as a nurse and that will fetch her extra income so try and have more than one stream of income for you to be comfortable and when you are investing this thing is very important i've seen people that would invest everything they have and they haven't got anything i've seen people putting all their money they have they put it in the building of their houses and they won't have money to feed 
that's not how to date and they end up they will end up asking people for money because they have invested their own so that's not the way to do it you must be financially independent invest a fraction of your income you cannot invest everything and start looking up to people number six is for you to own where you live it is very important for you to own where you live otherwise your rent that you are paying to landlords even if you live there 20 30 years they're never gonna pay you back but imagine if you have taken a mortgage you can always remortgage and you get some money to invest and if you are building your house a building is a fixed asset so even if you don't want the building anymore you can always sell you know you have your money you can get a better place and that's an asset for you rather than just living in people's houses and be paying i hope you've enjoyed my video if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and click the notification bell to ensure that you get notified anytime i have new videos Thanks for watching and I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.